Hey guys, it's another Furlough 2 here, and as you can tell, probably, at least, the audio is not fit to the video. And again, this is just like the fourth episode, so the episode before this, the video worked fine when it recorded, but for some reason the audio didn't work. So, I'm adding this voiceover narration to see, so that you guys will know at least a little bit of what's going on, so it won't be as new to you on the next episode, or, uh, weird. So... On this episode, I had finished the marketplace, well me and a few other guys, we had finished building the marketplace, and so you can buy one of the shops there for $500, and so I only had like $100, so I uh, went to the shop here, to the server shop, and tried to sell a bunch of my stuff, so that I could get some money, so I could, uh, I could buy one of the shops and get a lot of money back. So. Uh, Fast Al over there is was building a um, a fountain, and he was summoning some sort of object. And so what True figured out is that you can't sell things to the shop if the chest is full. So how we filled all of those up? Oh, um, Wolf is summoning. The Wolf is summoning. Uh, lightning bolts on the Koenigberg, but true, what True figured out is that you can't sell things to the shop when the chest is full, and we filled up all the chests fully. So if you see my balance, it's a 95.50. So I still need like another 400 dollars. But what you did was you took like three stacks out of each thing, so I could sell stuff there and get money, and we'll probably have to figure out a way to change that later, but for now, that's how it works. So I have about 28 seeds in my inventory, and those are actually, we should probably change that, but if you see, it's buying one for two, for five dollars, which I think is a good price since it's like, for um, it's for, you know, uh, it's not for the actual food or whatever, like the carrots, it's just for the planting of it. So I think the five dollars is a good price, but then I realized I put it too high as two fifty. It should be like a cent or something like that to sell back or to sell. So if you have, a, if you just go on a really quick seed thing and get a ton of seeds, you can get a ton of money. And so what we also figured out is it says you don't have any iron items to sell when I'm selling the iron sword, but I do have an iron sword on me, but the thing is the iron sword isn't, um, it's not at the full durability, it's lost durability, so you can't sell things that aren't at the full durability if you're selling armor or tools, because then people can buy that stuff back and they don't want to buy uh, one that's with the broken durability. And we also figure out is that this iron, I'm going to sell it. But I don't have enough to get all even for 16, since it's for 16 to sell. So, the last one that I did was, um, sold 12 iron instead of 16. And so when you sell 16 iron and you get $5 back, if you sell 12 iron, you'll get 375 because you'll get the you'll get the, uh, the, the fraction of it, or however much you sold, you'll get the fraction of that money. So that's what we figured out, so we can do that for basically every, every single thing, except for things like, like the seeds or whatever, that you can only sell one of at a time. You can't really sell a fraction of one. But, anyways, that's, that's kind of how it works on the server, and, this whole shop plugin, uh, chest shop, C H E S T E S H O P, you know, chest and then shop. So if you're if you play on another server, if you want to make a server with this, just remember that that's how it works. Is that you can uh, carry over and get fractions and things like that, which is pretty cool. So we also figured out that these saplings are off. The they're swapped for the dark oak and the AK and the and the acacia. So the diamonds is pretty 
good. It's fifty dollars for sixteen diamonds to sell. I mean, but I don't really want to sell sixteen diamonds. So I'm just waiting for True to change some of the things so that I can sell some stuff. And then I'll see. I'm checking my balance right now, and it's 204.25. So that's not horrible, but that's only. That's not even halfway of what I need. And I just sold a ton of stuff, including a ton of iron. So I kind of need some more of that later. But let's see here. Okay, so I sold the saplings. And now I'm gonna sell lapis and some redstone. So now my balance is 237.25, which is about halfway to what I need. But I think it's more of 45 cents or 45 percent. Pretty sure that's what it is. So I don't think I've done the slash home yet at my house. But I know I do it sometime in this episode, or at least off screen. So you'll see the slash, you'll see that it's a lot easier than doing the slash war wilderness one every time. But I need to sell a ton of stuff. And so the, so the easy thing right now is to basically exploit the, not the seed glitch, because it's not a glitch, it's, it's what I made it to be. But it's way overpriced, so we probably need to change that, but... I should at least try to use that right now as I'm trying to buy the my shop. So economy set. I'm setting someone's money to 100. Oh, the server, because True said that it does not have enough money for some reason, and it says it has 75 cents, and I think the reason. For that is because when we set it to like 10 trillion, the highest it can go, but when we changed from the essentials economy to icon economy, all the balances changed like 30 instead of whatever we set them at. So I'm pretty sure that was either at 30 or is at 100 if we set there. So we had to change that to like 10 trillion so that it will never. Or probably will never run out. But so now I'm just going on a huge seed spree, so I can go buy a go buy a house in the market. Well, not a house in the market, a shop in the market, I should say. So the market has 38 shops, as far as I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 38. So I'll probably have to make a second. Uh, market later or maybe even a third or fourth but for right now it's good so each shop inside is 12 by 12 by 4 up for high and so you can buy one of those shops for 500 I don't know what the config is set at if you can only buy one at a time like you can't have more than one shop I think we should set that to like two or something, but uh, I don't know what's that right now, so it might be at two or three, or infinite, I'm not really sure. But anyways, when you buy those, you get full reign of the whole, of your whole shop, so you get to break the walls, break the floor, break the ceiling, and so, so you can replace it with your own, so you can make your own store like unique. Looking and then also you'll be able to add things inside like a chest so that you can actually in sign so you can actually you know sell things. But people will so once the server gets big and there will be a lot of people in the market. What a lot of people will probably do will just be walking down the market looking at shops, seeing if there's any ones that catch their eye. So once that so shops so. Uh, things that aren't really common are probably going to be the best shops, but they're going to be the hardest to stock. 
like if you did a saddle and horse armor shop, that'd probably be a good shop to have, because a lot of people would probably buy from there, but it probably wouldn't be the easiest to stock up, since you can already get horse armor from dungeons and um, nether fortresses, and you can only get saddles from those places and then fishing. But what I want to do is my, as my uh, shop, or at least one of my shops if I'm if I buy another one, is to have a head shop. So like sell sheep heads, pig heads, uh, mo all the mob mob heads, and then try to sell my head. I don't know if you can do that. Well, you can, but I don't know how or if. I or how easy it'll be for me to get my own head. But I guess I could always try to sell like the staff heads, since that would be cool for people to have. And you know, I have to get them all legit, those so I'd have to kill them. And um, but they could always buy the heads back for money. But the market is a pretty cool thing, I think, at least because. It makes because there's a server shop, but that doesn't sell everything. It hardly sells basically anything in the whole game. It was just it's just kind of a thing for people that are starting out just to get some easy farming farming materials, some easy uh, wood tools, things like that. But it's definitely not going to be a thing that late game users play use. Late game players use or whatever, unless they're like selling diamonds or whatever, or buying diamonds or some something like that. But there will probably be the player shops that will have a lot more stuff and some of the same stuff, but for like better prices or something like that. That people will probably buy buy from more. So I think I'm on about 64 seeds now. Getting back to the video. So, I think I'm at, like, 60 right now, or 58, something around there. I did not catch the, catch the seed amount. Sorry, seed amount right there, but I'm pretty sure I'm fairly close. Yeah, it looks like I'm fairly close. 49, oh, only 49 around. Well, that was a lot higher. But I, I'm going to do this, and I'll take it to 64. We're going to go back to the shop so I can sell that stuff and hopefully get enough money for uh, for buying a mark. If I'm buying a shop, so $500. But I'll give you a hint, it's not enough. So I'll have to come back here at least one more time to get some more uh, things to sell. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So now I'm at 56 it looks like, and 59 now, 60, 61, 62, yep, 62, 63, and 64. So now I'll, I don't know where I'm going, oh, I'm going to grab some sugar cane. Because you can also sell sugar cane for 250. You can sell. You, that's not shell. You can sell all crops for 250. At least right now. I'll probably have to change that later. So now I'm gonna go back to the shop and sell some things. So I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just standing still. But. Alright, so now I'm gonna spam click the seeds until it until I run out of all mine. I'm just gonna spam click it and so it will go faster and we'll see how much money we have after this. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have about twenty eight left. 
Will that be enough money for the balance of over five hundred dollars? No, it will not be. But will it be close? Maybe. It depends. All right, so now check the balance. Four twelve twenty-five. So that's pretty close. It's less than a hundred away. So we're over eighty percent away. But it's still not five hundred. So I still need more things. And so what I did not realize when I was doing this again, well, when I was getting the seeds, is that cacti it also works as selling things because it's also a crop. And there's a, since there's a desert right near me, there's a ton of cacti. And so now I'm gonna go try and get some more of that, uh, some more cac some more cacti, so that I can buy finally buy a shop. And I never know why I, I will why I always go up there, since I can never jump over that place, and I just have to always fall down and hurt myself. But I do it anyways for, for some reason. So I think I'm going to my home so I can do slash home or or slash set home, which say to set the house, since I've been meaning to do that for a long time, and I think I was talking about it with Koenigberg. At this moment in time. Yep, slash set home. So now that's set. And I can now go get some more cacti. And we can go to the shop again. Well, once again. So there's some over there. And I've also been thinking that we should really explore the desert. Or the savannah or something. Because... Both can house villages, and the desert can house a, uh, well, can savannas have villages, or is that 1.8? I don't think it's 1.8, I think that's 1.7, and the savannah actually came out. But the deserts can also have the temples, so we'll need those. Well, we don't need those, but it would have some good loot. I think you can get saddles in desert temples. I don't know about the horse armor though. You might be able to. But I don't, I'm not for sure about that one, but I'm pretty sure about the saddles. Ooh, so my herbalism is at 40 for my total. So I think I, I'm going, going to get 64 cacti. Or stop pretty close. Yeah, 56. So I don't know where I'm going because I'm trying to go to the warp area. Like where you come to the wilderness when you warp there. But then I realized that you don't need to go there. You can warp from anywhere. So now I'm going to sell my cacti and hope that it's enough. So I think I worked it out in my head because $400... 412 is about 100 so 100 divided by 250 is 25 so I need about 25 so my balance is now 497.25 it's now 499.75 so one more and my cacti is now 20 so I finally have $500 woohoo so now I can go buy a market <laughs> no not buy a market I can go to the market to buy a shop or a store and these chunks are not loading because they never load because this because the this hub is really big. So on the next episode you'll see some more big changes to the hub. So it's a it's a good hub, but it's kind of there's kind of a few open spaces. Or quite a few open spaces spaces, I should say. And so me and CC Rogers and some other people have been trying to fill those in with either more shops or some cool decoration. So I think you'll like what we'll have when you see it on the next episode or if you come on the server. So that's store six. See, so it says store six can be bought for five hundred dollars when you walk in. So I'm gonna go down there, but then I decide against it because I don't really want a shop down there. I want to shop right near the front, so I'm gonna buy this this one, shop number five. 
So when you right click it, it says you successfully bought store 5. So now my balance is 225. And if you walk into the shop, it will say, oh yes. So the bad thing about this uh, that we have to change is that the once you are able to once you're able to actually go to the store and it's yours now so you can change it however you want you can also take the iron blocks on the ground or whatever or the glowstone and take them for your own so I'm gonna have to talk to true so uh, because I probably need to change that all the glass so if you try to break it, the only way you'll be able to get it is with soap touch, and even then, even still, it's just glass, so it's not really important. It's not like tons of iron blocks. So I'm gonna go off camera for a little bit, and you guys will see what the shop looks like when I get back. So I will be back soon. Okay, I'm back. And so far, here's the store. It's not very finished, as you can tell. There's still a lot of, a lot of open spaces, empty spaces. And it still needs to be changed. But on the next episode, you'll see that there's that it's more, more so finished than it was before. But I don't really like that cobblestone there, or the ore. I think this is like a placeholder holder for whatever I want to have. Maybe I, maybe I want to have quartz or so, something like that. I'd, I'd like that. That'd be cool. But for right now, this is what it's what this is what it is. And so I'm out of cobblestone. So Konigberg actually bought a store as well. It's right across from mine, I think. I think he changed it from right across from me to next to me. But it was there before. But it, he still has a shop. Looks like this is the end of the episode, guys. So, as always, this is Nether Portal 02. Sign out.